Atlanta is home of the civil rights movement, and leaders like Martin Luther King and Andrew Young have significant ties to the city. Atlanta also hosted the 1996 Olympics and are one of the host cities of the 2026 World Cup. Atlanta is expanding their entertainment sector at a faster rate than Hollywood, and they are also home to one of the world's biggest airports. In the world's busiest airport, you can find a small piece of Zimbabwe. As you walk through Concourse T, you can hear Mbira music, and for the next 137 meters, you are surrounded by Shona stone art that is seen by over 250,000 people a day. But today, the airport welcomes Zimbabwean ambassador to the United States, His Excellency Tadius Chifamba, as they walk through and look to commemorate the exhibit, which has been in the airport for almost 30 years. The visit also comes at a significant time, as February is Black History Month in the United States. Our most treasured collection here at the airport, and that is, we title it Zimbabwe, a tradition in stone. Originally commissioned by the city of Atlanta, two gentlemen, David Vaught and Lamar Renford, are responsible for bringing the Shona pieces to Atlanta. We recognize the tremendous work that was being done by the sculptors in Zimbabwe and so we were attracted by their work and thought what great opportunity to bring a world-class collection of this work to this airport and so that's what we did. Airport authorities expressed the wish to establish twinning arrangements with Hartsfield-Jackson and Arara International Airport. Atlanta is home to companies such as Coca-Cola, Google, NCR and is a growing electronic vehicle industry. Among the Zimbabwean artists whose work are displayed, Nicholas Mkomboranwa is among them. Unfortunately, Nicholas has passed, but we were privileged enough to have his granddaughter, Tanaka Mkomboranwa, an artist herself, join us on the ambassador's walkthrough and express what the exhibit meant to her and other artists. I am honored to be a part of the walkthrough exhibit with the Zimbabwean ambassador in seeing my grandfather's art here at the airport inspires me as an artist and I hope to see more Zimbabwean art out there and also I hope that more Zimbabweans get to put their art out there so the world can see what amazing art we're making. Ambassador Chifamba spoke and met with Atlanta mayor in hopes of deepening cooperation. The mayor was very keen to pursue and deepen cooperation in areas like education, science, technology, arts and welcomed the idea of facilitating university exchange programs. But we do believe that um, with them and through them, we can forge much closer relationships between Zimbabwe and, uh, and Georgia, and specifically Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. So, so we are very, we are very keen to see how we can explore uh, areas of cooperation. It starts with the Atlanta art exhibit, but like Ambassador Chifamba said, Zimbabweans are looking to expand not just nationally but globally. On top of those meetings, Ambassador Chifamba also organized a dinner through the Diaspora Outreach Program, speaking to Zimbabweans in Atlanta about opportunities back home. Ambassador Chifamba challenges them to leverage the skills and resources they have acquired in the U.S. to help develop and invest back in Zimbabwe. And you have access to capital, you have access to technology, and you even have access to this market because you know what this market requires. Looking into the future, the ambassador wants to see Zimbabwe and U.S. relations grow through collaboration. If it's having an exhibit in the airport or Tammy Moyo singing for Andre Dickens, Ambassador Chifamba's efforts are letting people see just how much of a key player Zimbabwe is. Takunda Mafundikwa, ZBC News, Atlanta, Georgia.